Well, we've been waiting for a while. We see all the trailers for the once upon a Deadpool. This is the Deadpool without the. Yeah. How are we going to do this without the F word? PG 13. It's the story tale of how Deadpool 2 was done. So it's going to be funny. It's going to be interesting. It's worth it to see it. But just pull the DVD and just go to Netflix or whatever you can watch it and watch Deadpool 2 or even the second version, the super duper Deadpool 2 version on the Blu-ray. It's going to be good. Your reviews with me, Frankie D, coming up once a part of Deadpool. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, here we go again. This was very important when they did Deadpool, the first one. It's a rated R. The violence, the F word, and other stuff broke records because first rated R, and non common for Marvel. Think about Deadpool 2. I love it. If you remember my review, it's a must go. Probably it wasn't that great like the first one, but it still was awesome, funny. But now, because this movie could not be marketed in some international market, especially in China, with a lot of money that was banned. And as you know, Aquaman was released this week in China, broke a record $94 million. Venom, who did the same package, and instead of VR, did a PG-13, and did about 80-something million dollars in China. Big money, the studio wanted the money. How are you going to change this movie? Well, he used Fred Savage <laughs> from the Wonder Years. And you see four trailers we've been seeing all over. We don't see any image of Deadpool. All we do is just him and Fred Savage is stuck in the bed and try to tell his story, making fun of Marvel, making fun of Nickelback music. Can they work? And the movie is probably 30 minutes, I would say 25 minutes shorter. Even so, they added more because they had to reshot a lot of stuff. They cut a lot of the violence. The first five minutes, you remember that ninja thing they got in Japan when, and they just killed so many people, technically all cut. They are a lot of part because it's so gross, <laughs> so many kills that they had to cut to be a PG-13. They had to cut like a 20,000 F word. But in one way or another, does it work? And Ryan Reynolds made it work. I don't want to make it too complicated. You already saw this movie. I watched yesterday the super duper version, the one that came in the Blu-ray, which is a little bit extended, and uh, which is almost the same of the, the original. But I want to be refreshed, and I watched this 24 hours later. And even so, it's different because there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of part to cut. It's still is fresh, it still is funny. The part with Fred Savage and him are making fun of all the marbles and the music and the, the writing, making fun of themselves. It's already worth it to see it. And for some reason, it works. It works like the air rated R? No. But it's still, in my opinion, it's a must go. You should go and see it. It's going to be funny, it's entertaining. And of course, it's an hour and 50 minutes, 25 minutes shorter. Uh, even so, that the other part, you know, they had to cut a lot. They still, the essence of the story is great. I don't think it's any 13-year-old kid who haven't seen it really Deadpool. I don't know. I don't know how they 
didn't see it. But whatever. You can still bring kids to see this movie. <laughs> That's what they wanted to do it. But Ryan Reynolds made it work. It's funny. It still had the essence of the first and the second one. And it stayed for the critics. I know there are people who stay thought it was the same critics that they want that they pulled two. It isn't. One part it is, but there are few parts that he changed it. He made it funny. It stayed till then. And let me tell you one thing, and I'd like to tell you, Ryan Reynolds and the people on Fox, which is now at Disney or whatever it is in the studio, I'm sure Ryan Reynolds did it because he's a big fan of Marvel. He's a big fan of Stan Lee. Notice after the credit, stay, don't go away. Stay till the music of Celine Dion is a part of the credits to the coming up. I don't want a spoiler. Funny with that pool, but then in the end, the only few people left, but the people who left, they're idiots. They know it's a Marvel movie. He made a tribute. And I don't, I'm going to spoil it for you because you're probably going to read it a lot of time. There is no reviews of this movie in any place. They didn't release it previous to anybody. But this is the spoiler. This is the first time I'm going to give you the spoiler. He did a tribute to Stan Lee. And this is kudos for Ryan Reynolds, kudos for this movie to did this a little montage, a little part, I would say three minutes, two and a half minutes of Stan Lee and the worth the chest for that, the movie. Because Stan Lee is a god. Or Marvel movie or any comic books. And it's a must go. For me, it still is a must go. You should see it. Even so, it's his PG 13. It's still funny. It's still, you're going to enjoy it. It's still worth it to spend the money. Until the next time, I hope you like what I did. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe and support me. Just my face with Yoda's here, my other reviews. And until the next time, support your movie theaters, support your TV shows, support your video games. And don't forget again, my Facebook Yoda, other reviews, and support me. Till the next time, ciao.